Hey guys, this is James from TCG University coming back at you with the final round of the seventh cross characters. They are coming out late again, I apologize, but I have some future plans for the Yu Yu Hakusho ones and with like the reset of my personal life and with like the change we're doing with all, a bunch of the like the content we're creating. These kind of got put back a little bit, so I apologize on that one. But I do plan to have the Yu ones out as fast as I possibly can. So let's get into this one. Today we're going to be doing Dejanet. Uh, we're playing our deck under Evil today. Uh, so for Dejanet, one dot, she starts the game with one copy of Spell Circle. Spell Circle, you can only have one copy of. So we're going to only play one copy of that. But her enhance is opponent's turn. If you have at least one momentum, you get to look at the top card of your deck. You may discard it. Crazy. And then our discard momentum, which you get for free because of Spell Circle. After your opponent plays a card as a form, discard it. Your opponent may lose X Vitality to add the discarded card from their discard pile back to their hand. X equals the number of characters in your staging area. Uh, so there's a couple of counters to this card, like adding Revoke back doesn't do anything if they first form with it, just because it doesn't. this R doesn't cancel the form. It just cancel. It doesn't cancel the form, it just adds it back. So for cards like Ancestral Quiver, she'll have to discard all her momentum. For cards like Revoke, they'll still get the negative one for the rest of the turn. So, like, doing that just doesn't do anything for her. And then for her two dot, uh, first ability is E, commit one foundation. E attack gets EXX. X equals the number of characters in your staging area. We play a max of five. So, so like, you can lose a max of five for Dejanet for defense and give EX five for your ability. And then first form, you can discard momentum to look at the top X card of your deck. Max of five, obviously, for what we're playing. And you can replace them in any order. X equals the number of characters in your staging area. Uh, so that's really nuts because, like, with Affliction and Death Nail, you can do a couple of manipulation things to get cool cards in your hand and whatnot. And with, like, arranging a deal and uh, most new Empress, you get to, like, draw cool cards and do cool combos and things. So, like, deck has some cool things going for it. So we're playing four Zero Nightmare. So it's a 1-6 with a three high block. If you stun it, your opponent loses two. You can discard a card to ready it. If it's discarded, you make your opponent lose one. It's pretty nice. It's a nice, simple spam. Uh, confronting Jetta, we give EX5, so having free damage is nice. Uh, New Empress Nether Realm, like I said, pay three to draw. We're sort of like a half desperation deck, which is really nice. Uh, two most trusted, lose one vitality to your opponent's next check to play an attack, gets negative one, block or otherwise, really nice. Unwittingly Evil kind of counters the whole gauge format with this because gauge six, well, I'll burn you for six. Good job on playing that attack. I have two, I'll burn you for 12. Uh, we're playing four Invoking Blood Magic. I think this is the most important foundation in this entire pool of foundations we have here. And I think if she's playing evil, she should play four of this. Not only for the e evil enhance E remove, if you've lost vitality, you can reduce an attack speed to zero. But for the main fact of, it makes your opponent discard momentum as a cost to play abilities that would discard any of number of your momentum. So like free things like We Are Many, things like um, Wishing Ward, just mean your opponent has to be able to discard the momentum theirself, just to be able to just to be able to discard yours, which means they have to mill three and discard momentum, just to touch your momentum. And if you get two of these on board, they have to ditch two momentum just to do it. So it's just nuts. Uh, we're playing one last of his kind. Pay life to make sure you take less damage. Phase of a monster, change zones, give my speed, take less damage, block more. Nice simple stuff. Our world's errors to get rid of problem cards. Uniting Rebels to keep us in this nice floaty zone of desperation, not desperation. Blood for blood to make our opponent lose on blocks, lose vitality on blocks, as well as just put us in desperation itself. Two debt to be paid. We pay a lot of vitality, so we're going to get to get negative one to our opponent's checks very easily. Arranging a deal to draw cards. Demand submission to cancel things like multiple, stun, powerful, EX, gauge. Just good counter stuff. Four cage fighter, nice simple uh, neg neg more checks, just nice and simple. We're playing two revoke. Uh, the first form's nice and the the uh, negating's nice, but I needed to find room for all these uh, actions we're playing, so I had to cut this to two. Uh, three fade kind of does the same thing Dejanet does, so it just gives us more possibilities that they check bad. Uh, the, obviously, the one spell circle and one call the dreamlands. It does the same thing as revoke, which is why we're playing at two and two. But this one says we can make our opponent check bad, which could just be the end of their turn if, if it's, like, that good. Uh, so on to the attacks. We're playing four Affliction. 
It has breaker one, engage two. It's a four mid for two. We name a card for the top card of the deck. If it's the named card, we draw it, which is nice because we get to see things with Dejanet two dot. And if not, if we don't have a Dejanet two dot up, we can just discard momentum to draw one card and reveal the top card of the deck to then be able to name the top card with the first enhance on affliction. So it's just nuts. Uh, we're playing three death kneel. It's a breaker one, zero high block. It's a six two. It's like we check bad, but because we're playing this desperation style here for in some of this attack, it doesn't hurt us as bad. Uh, it's a card pool twice per turn after you discard your momentum. Your opponent add you add one card from your hand to your momentum, which just means your opponent can't like hopefully dr run you dry of Dejanet's uh, discard for burn for ditching it from the card pool. So like you ditch one, you add one from your hand, and you just have the defense for the while. Uh, then the other ability is you can discard momentum and add the top card or discard pile to your hand, which is really nice if you've been knowing what you're checking. You know what you're going to check on this death kneel. You know what you're going to have to add with this. When you can do a bunch of like short manipulation, stuff like that. We're playing three flame aura for the burn on block and for the good for the good zero, zero uh, one high block, basically. Uh, it has desperation four, which is really nice. We're playing two flame port. It's a lose lose. It's a lose lose situation for our opponent. Either they take four from the flame port and we get momentum, or they block it, basically lose a card from their hand, and we get a momentum anyways. So it's really a, a it's one and one basically. It's a lose lose fifty fifty situation where sometimes it's the better choice, sometimes it's not. We're playing two f from hell. Uh, we give ex five, which is really nice. It's better than ex three, but it also just says our opponent's forced to block something. And at Desperation 4, it's really nice because we can get there very easily. We're playing one on Phobia. Get hella stacked from Dejanets. Use Call of the Dreamlands and just make sure they can't pass it. Nice and simple. That's why we play it a one-off. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Playing two Tong Poos Assault to be able to use Dejanets and play them easily. And three Seneca Slice for, again, another 50-50. Of if they block, you'll draw a card. If they don't, you get the momentum for Dejanet. Just a nice, solid leadoff attack. Yeah, guys, that was the Dejanet profile. Uh, if you liked it, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, if you want to check out some of the other profiles, feel free to do that. If you want to support us on Patreon, go to TCGU, TCG University. Go to patreon.com slash TCGUniversity. That was, I messed that up, sorry. Uh, go, to, go to the Patreon, check that out. Uh, make sure to check out some of our other content. And as always, stay learned.